Hello everyone! Today I wanted to show you guys an interesting mechanic within Animal Crossing New Horizons to ensure that I never get stung by wasps and I can easily harvest wood from trees and find my daily tree furniture safe in the knowledge that I will never encounter a wasp ever again. Now you could open your town gate and that will prevent wasps from spawning or of course you could just hold a net in your hand to easily catch the wasps and then sell them but then if I want to chop wood from a tree, that means I have to switch to my net, shake the tree first to make sure it's safe, and then back to my axe, and it's just a big faff for me. I'd rather just not encounter wasps altogether. So by spending about 30 minutes doing what I show you today, you could save a couple of minutes every day. And please remember that this is just another option of how people could play. You are more than welcome to play this game however you want. So thanks to Leo WTYX for investigating and PSI for confirming with some RAM poking. These were the words given to me when I asked the garden science group. I have no idea what RAM poking is, but I didn't want to assume it was data mining in case it seems like I'm stupid. And here I am admitting to it. Oh God, it's snowballing. Someone help. It turns out that the game doesn't just pick random trees every day to populate with wasps, furniture and coins, but it has a set process that we can use to our advantage. The way it works is that if there are already five trees on your island with wasps in them, then the next day the wasps remain there. If there are less, that's when the game decides which trees to place wasps in randomly to bring the total up to five. It does the same thing for furniture and coins, but wasps are always the first and that's what we're interested in since we want to leave the wasps in there forever. So first of all, we need to identify which five trees on our island currently have wasps in them and there really isn't any way of doing this other than shaking them all and resetting the game when we find a wasp nest. So it's important to act fast to avoid the game's autosave feature, which activates two minutes after loading up your save file and then every three minutes after that. So shake your trees and the moment that you find a wasp nest, hit the home button and reload the game. Either remember the tree, or if you have a particularly bad memory, you can mark the tree with something like uh, an item or a piece of fruit, so you know which tree has the wasp in it, and wait for the initial two minute autosave before continuing. Because we're going to need to do this for the remaining four wasp trees. Depending on how many hardwood and cedar trees you have, you should be able to locate your five wasp trees pretty quickly. Mine all happen to be grouped together since I haven't knocked any nests down in probably over a month, and so they appear to be in quite old trees in my town that were planted a long time ago. I also got lucky that they were all hardwood trees and not a mix of hardwood and cedar since I like to follow the natural Animal Crossing rule of only having hardwood trees on the bottom tier and cedar on the top ones. Now that we know which trees have wasps in them, we're done, right? Well, technically yes, you could just mark these trees and avoid them forever, but interestingly, they remain as wasp trees if you dig them up and replant them elsewhere, providing that you haven't knocked the nest down. So what I ended up doing is replanting them all together in one small spot and placing some intimidating fences and signposts around it, just to serve as a reminder that I don't want to shake these five trees, but everything else on the island is safe to shake. Another thing you could do is once you've identified which are your five wasp trees, you can chop down every other tree on your island except for two so that you have seven trees in total. And then starting from the next day, those extra two trees will always have furniture in them since there's no other trees for the game to place them in. Of course, fruit trees are still safe to have on your island if you want to do this because they have fruit on them. You can't shake them to get wasps out because you'll shake them and you'll get fruit. Uh, wasp furniture and coins can't be placed within fruit trees. And trying to preemptively answer a question, what about bell trees? They work the same as fruit trees, except the day after you've removed the bell bags from them, they'll turn into regular hardwood trees and can become eligible for furniture and coins. If you ever need to catch a wasp or get a wasp nest for any reason, you can always go on a mystery tour because every island except for the sister fruit and bamboo island are always guaranteed to have a wasp tree on them. All that's left to say now is a big thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video then feel free to throw a like on it since it really does help me out a lot. Drop a comment in the comment section if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe to be notified of more Animal Crossing New Horizons guides, tutorials and playthroughs whenever they go live. I recently put up a hybrid guide since so many people were asking me about particular hybrids, so if there's anything else you'd like me to cover then I'm happy to help out. Thank you once again for watching and for your support, have a great day and I'll see you next time.